Welcome to our electron line. In this video, we're going to see why the H alpha line energy difference in the fine structure is exactly the same as the first energy jump in the Lyman series. The first energy jump in the Lyman series from the second energy level down to the first energy level in the hydrogen atom experiences energy difference because the fine line structure of the 2p orbital. In the 2p orbitals, when the electron orbits the nucleus, there's going to be a magnetic field created and the interaction between the spin direction and the magnetic field causes that slight difference in the energy depending upon whether or not the electron is spin up or spin down. Well, when it jumps from the third energy level, it typically comes from the 3s orbital and there you do not see that fine structure difference because it's an s orbital and in an s orbital there's an equal probability that the electron will travel around the nucleus in any given direction and because of that there's no magnetic field created and therefore we don't have that interaction between the spin direction of the electron and the non-existing magnetic field but you can see here that the energy difference in the jump has to be the same because here the energy difference is created in where the electron arrives at versus when the electron starts from. In the Lyman series, jumping from the second to the first energy level, the energy difference is caused by where the electron starts from. It can start from here or from here with an energy difference equal to 4.5 times 10 to minus 5 electron volts. But when the electron jumps from the third level down to the second level into the p orbitals, there's a difference in the energy when it arrives. It can either arrive here or it can arrive here. You can see it has the exact same energy difference. And therefore, the fine structure energy difference for the bomber jump for the H alpha line, which means the first jump from the third level down to the second level, that energy difference is exactly the same as it is for the first Lyman jump from the second level down to the first level. Now, when we see how that affects the change in the energy of the jump, typically from going from the third level down to the second level, we have an energy difference between 3.4 and 1.51 electron volts. But then we have to add the change caused by the fine structure. Either there's an increase or a decrease of half that much. So we increase it by about 20.00022 electron volts, or we add that much. So that means that the two lines for, uh, creating that fine line structure for the H alpha line will then be caused by an energy difference of 1.890022 electron volt or 1.889978 electron volts, a difference of 45 times, or 4.5 times 10 to the minus 5 electron volts. So you can see it's a very minor change in the existing jump, but it's big enough that we can actually see it, and that's what causes the fine line structure. That's how it's done.